volume two so you guys are going to start to see a few repeat games star soldier is going to be one of them blaster master again super dodgeball one of the best games on the nes so only 21 games compared to 26 from the previous tape and i think the third one is it's even like less than that Come on, we want to see the intro. Volume two. So as you guys can see now, it's only two of the three that are there. Okay. We showed you Star Soldier and we could find <laughs> okay, guys. hidden bonus points. Now, he's going to basically show us how to get an ultimate weapon. Okay. Now we'll show you now, how to get a special laser weapon that you cannot find anywhere if, else in the game. If you guys... If you guys didn't think that this was like awesome pre-taped... Before turning on uh, the game, hold the A and B button while pushing up to the left yeah on i remember that one, on controller so 2 hold down they're going to show like snippets of of basically him pushing the select button to change from one weapon to the other on controller 1 10 so times. try to see if you notice anything wrong in the way that they're going to do it then press start <laughs> if you've done it correctly you'll see a short flash once you've seen the short flash press the start button to begin play you're now starting now with five way. five way. Okay, so look. To switch over to laser. Game pauses, unpauses. Press the select button. <laughs> and you, you can still hear him like pushing the buttons and everything when like it doesn't match what it shows on screen. The fact that the game keeps on like there's no auto fire, so the the fact that the game is like he's on auto fire and oh my god da, da, da. now he's going ape, sh ape shit crazy oh yes I have to push the buttons yep yeah, so that was basically it now this is probably one of the worst football games I've ever played. To receive super fast players on John Elway's quarterback, on the play select screen, choose reverse play. <laughs> when the ball is snapped, this you is like this. That no opponents can catch. This is like the stupidest trick ever. <laughs> so you basically choose reverse play, and like the guy, nobody can catch you. You're, you're. Look at the other guy. Like he's running like so fast and you can see that the AI is actually pretty good and this guy's so slow what's going on what the hell's going on <laughs> this is intense just like a fire in the circus oh my god guys stop trying to run in the in the crowd block these guys <laughs> Man, this is so stupid. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, block them! <laughs> so immediately, you guys can see like the great AI in this game. There we go, touchdown! Oh my god, that was horrible. To take off in stealth ATF is very easy. Landing is a bit more difficult. Oh yeah, generic sh way. airplane shooting Simply game. Press the B button four times. Uh, again, the the plane starts descending before he finishes pushing the button the fourth time, but nobody's wa nobody's paying that much attention. So next one's gonna be Silkworm. Again, the sounds effects. Ugh.
Oh my god, this game. As you can see, Silkworm <laughs> is true to the arcade version. With all the secret power-ups and hidden bonus points. Now, I remember getting like the biggest surprise when I rented this game because as you guys will see, they only show like the chopper version, they never show the tank version. But there's like, there's two game modes, you can either play as a tank or play as a, as a helicopter. Holy crap, did you see that missile? Eww. Are you gonna see it again? And he dies. So that was the first boss, second boss. Again, very original. Instead of going forward, now it's going up and down. And he's gonna explode the same way. And that's it. What's the next one? I don't remember. To choose areas oh, one to nine in Guerrilla War. That's a good game. Hold down the A button and press start. And that's my kind of level select screen. You got that? Ikari Warriors. <laughs> Push A and push start. Level 5 is a bonus board. Use your lasso to rescue the hostages. Wow. Man, he's not very good. <laughs> I'm gonna run them over for a thousand point each. He's gonna... He's gonna shoot the wrong way. <laughs> so... I remember when I... When I found a Nintendo in in like a thrift store uh, back in 2008, 2009, about 10 years ago, before the prices like of retro gaming went... S s t t today it's impossible. If you want to buy a Nintendo, you're going to have to pay like 200 bucks to get one. I remember paying my Nintendo like 5 bucks in a thrift store, and I wasn't even sure if it's going to work, but... Uh, I uh, I remember ordering. I think I I went to like a. I think there was one game that came with it, and so I didn't know it worked. So I remember ordering games from a uh, from eBay, and I think it's like one of the only things I ever bought off eBay was uh, I think it was called Pedro Games, or yeah, Pedro Games or something like that. I don't think it exists anymore, but I remember ordering like a batch of games, and this was actually one of the first games that I got. Because this game, this game was actually pretty fun. Level 9. He's gonna pause the game for no reason. Right there. It's gonna unpause and the boss is gonna appear. Look at this boss! Is it like... Two midgets on a, on a tractor? I mean, I have no clue what I'm looking at right now. Huh. Oh my god, this guy's so lucky. He, he, he didn't die like five times yet. You know you can shoot him with your gun too, right? You can. You don't have to only shoot him one grenade at a time. He's gonna die. Come on. Oh yeah, dude. he's gonna tell us something. He's gonna tell us. To get to the tenth and final round of Gorilla War, we must first play through get? round. Yeah, nine. and now he explodes. Yep, I remember now. <laughs> and he dies. <laughs> he is at the last level. Now. Take a look at the last... He's basically fighting the last boss, and look, the tanks are all gonna die. There we go. So that was like... That was like... An edit that was not really <laughs> well made. Alright. Three Stooges. I used to own that game. Concentrate on the waiter and the doctor game. I never understood what he's, what he's telling us right now. The best strategy for the waiter game is to throw all the pies except for one, leave the last pie remaining, 
then concentrate on ducking the pies thrown at you. You'll receive $5 for each pie. Once you've obtained a high enough point value, throw the last pie. For completing the round... Now, I remember the that I would be... because the controls for this one... I think you had to keep your finger on the A button and up would... Uh, like, you would have to push up, down, or right, or left to throw the pies. So I, I just kept my, my finger on A and I would push like up, down, right, up, down, right. And like I would throw all three pies at once. <laughs> In the hospital scene, concentrate on picking up the supplies while avoiding the patients. Uh, this was like the worst game. I remember the the stupidest game in this in in, in Three Stooges was the the cracker the cracker game, where uh, you play uh, I think it's Larry no I, I don't I don't remember who it is but basically you you have like a soup or cereal in front of you and you have like these crackers and there's like oysters that come up and uh, basically every time that you every time that you pass that you eat the cracker, it gives you like 500 bucks, so you do that like 10 times and it was crazy, it was like, okay, that was like the stupidest thing ever. Uh, what's the next one? I don't remember. Is it Twin Cobra? Oh Twin yeah. Twin Cobra, if you obtain nine bombs... I remember, you guys remember like here, last episode when I was talking enough. about Tiger Heli, that it was a was a, like one of the worst games ever. This game was awesome. Good music, good controls, the power-ups were cool. I remember that circle, that's basically all the weapons, so blue is the weapon that he has now. Normally, a bomb would appear where you can now see a red one up. A red one up. So the best one was the blue, so he's gonna get the blue. There we go, get the blue. <laughs> Look how easy it is when you have that weapon. Uh, I never owned this game, but I rented it a few times. The music was really kick-ass. <laughs> I think Twink, Twink Cobra is going to come again later on in the uh, on the tape. Weep. Man, that sound effect. I have no clue what... I don't remember what those items do. They're probably just points. In Blaster Master, oh my god. Wipe out the bosses at the end of two, <laughs> This is the four, stupidest six, thing ever. Seven. Toss a grenade, and at the very instant it hits a creature, press the start button to pause. Alright. So the game's paused. Wait at least one minute. <laughs> and the guy really waits one minute. Oh my god. So, basically what's happening is that the game is registering every hit that you're seeing as if it was a real hit. So he's basically doing like hit 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 hit. It's like okay, this is the stupidest thing ever. And you don't even have to wait one minute. I think you have to wait like twenty seconds or something like that. This is so stupid. So we have forty seconds to spare. So okay, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna get the. Uh, I'm gonna get the boring part out of the way, so guys, don't forget if you like this video, please share, subscribe, hit the bell so that you're notified when we publish new videos. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook. <sighs> and don't forget to share your greatest Nintendo memories. Oh my god, will you just fucking unpause the game? Press the start button to unpause and the boss is destroyed. Press the start button to unpause and the boss is destroyed. Okay, just fucking do it! Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> the next one is gonna be Archon. The music, ugh. 
here's a sneak preview of Archon, a chess game with a twist. Instead of the usual kings, kings and queens, queens you, now you now have banshees, golems, golems trolls, trolls, unicorns, unicorns wizards, wizards, and, and sorceresses. sorceresses. When I say that I watched this game, did this tape a few times. You can now cast As spells see, in this version. You can now cast spells in this version. Spells? You can cast spells. And the battlefields are unique. This part was at least was interesting. With the bird, the phoenix that goes against a pawn. There we go. Okay, so this is the part. So, if you if you guys remember, in um, I think it was during the uh, Adventure Island, the Adventure Island bit on Volume One, where I said. Uh, you guys are gonna see when he continues, it continues, it continues before you press start. This is actually what I was thinking about. So, he's gonna basically go and kill himself. Come on, just die. There we go, he's dead. So, look at the TV screen. After your last man dies, on the title screen, hold left, then press start. So you guys, did you guys see that? <laughs> it started you just before you push start. And, power -ups you previously had. and of course, the guy, like, as soon as he starts pushing the button, the guy was already, like, shooting his bubbles, so... Eh, you gotta play pretend. So, this game was actually pretty weird, Mylan's Secret Castle. I remember that you had to find the lantern, you had to jump down the well, you were, like, in all this fire around you. <sighs> now, POW. For a new exciting game, POW. Yes, that was one of my favorite games on Nintendo. <laughs> Don't waste your knife, idiot. Yeah, the music's so good. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. In the first time, you will receive the brass knuckles. Oh my god. How many kicks does he gonna have to to do? Pick up the brass knuckles to increase your offensive power. Yeah, it's about time. The armor power up is in the second hunt. Look how many kicks they take. Oh my god, he takes like twenty kicks. The armor power up will allow you to be protected from bullets and knives. In the third hut, you will obtain the life power up. Yeah, well, you better get it. You're gonna need it. You're almost dead. Dun, 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 dun. Getting a life power dun, 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 will dun, allow dun. you to replenish your energy. Now you, they're gonna explain how to beat all the boss. First end boss. Knock down the enemy, then pick up their grenades. Yeah, that boss was actually pretty, pretty fun. Come on! Dude! Come on! Give me grenades! He's gonna get hit. And there we go. And he's gonna jump kick. Yay! To defeat the right, he's gonna Robert, die. Have your back face there we go. And turn and punch. <laughs> Oh yeah, this part. Yeah, the funniest part in this whole video is gonna be like, in a few moments, there's gonna be like scuba divers, and on the third one, he's gonna like, oh not not this one, this one. Look, he's gonna he's gonna do like a backhand, and now he's gonna screw up. You must be like, shit, it didn't work. When you reach the end of level two, you 
must approach the boss carefully. Yeah, this guy, this guy was actually pretty hard. I always used to get hit by 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 those uh, projectiles. Use a jump kick to avoid the explosions and kick the boss. Wow. Repeat this procedure. Man, this box, this boss sucks. At the conclusion. Oh, not not as much as this one though. Big fat sumo guy. Discover a boss who will quickly rush across the platform and inflict great damage. Jump kick to the right and left immediately. Repeating this technique until the third boss is eliminated. <laughs> there we go. And that's about it. <sighs> okay. Super dodgeball and a special technique to form the <laughs> now, throw. for anybody that's played when Super Dodgeball, take him to the top left-hand corner. Push the joystick to the right twice to get him to start the running. When he's at the center of the playfield, press the A button to form the You have to throw. push the B button. The A button passes and look, it's supposed to be the killer throw, but he can't do it. Maybe cuz you're not pushing the right button. Supposed to push the B button, and it's not even a special throw, it's just like a regular throw. So this is like the worst video they could have chosen. Oh my god. Man, I have so many memories of this of this game. Again, every time that I that I I get the urge to play Nintendo, this is usually one of the first games that I that I boot up. Fester's Quest. Here are from Fester's Quest, along with one end character. Now this guy has a turbo controller for sure. <laughs> I don't have many memories of this game. I remember, I remember renting it. Um, one of the things that I never, I never actually bothered to look up, is there's got to be some sort of inv invincibility code because, as you guys are gonna see, like in a few moments he's gonna be fighting a boss, and he gets hit like 20 times and he never loses any energy. So there must be some some sort of invincibility code or something. This is funny. He's gonna go like burp. <laughs> He's like shit. Didn't work. Oh, we're gonna see the head again. Pugly gives you TNT. Hmm. That looks familiar. Come on, use your key. Wednesday gives you vice grips. Yeah, so it's, this is like the sewer portion. They're gonna show it for like 20 seconds, and then it's gonna go to the to the boss. Oh my god, these green things! Who's gonna get a hit? You suck! There we go, okay. So look how many times he gets hit. So one. Two. Three. <laughs> look, his, his health bar never goes down. No, actually, it goes down, but it goes right back up. So he's definitely cheating. First time that I've noticed this. Oh my god, cheater! It's a good thing he would have he would have been game over a long time ago.
Wow, man. You're really awesome. <laughs> I don't remember. Is it Rambo? Uh, In the first tape, Rambo. Uh, again. Rambo. Here's a secret second ending. This time you'll find Ko waiting for you. Who cares? Type in w L A oh, man. Small K Password. X small V five <sighs> T small W zero B W U three C B Man did D these passwords A seven small O <laughs> small V J seven two P small T H nine E zero four. Oh my god. If you guys like this game, I'm just sorry. Once this code has been initiated, simply find Ko and talk to her. Do not, Do not talk, talk to, to anyone, anyone else. else. And we mean it, alright? Hmm, looks familiar. <sighs> Man, this is so boring. This is like the worst part of the tape. Wow, you found Ko. What are you doing? Going to the States? Warm city, warm days. Yet yeah, warm people, warm city, warm days. I've been dreaming of living in the USA and having a simple life, if you don't mind. I think I learned. Uh, I think I learned something important from you. I may be able to live or love. Really? I love you. An epilepsy test. Once you've talked to Ko. <laughs> Try going back and finding Murdoch. Instead of talking to him this time, fire. You'll see a there we go. Chinese There's a frog here, thing. And you'll turn Murdoch into a frog. Yep. That's that's something that happened. <laughs> 